Good afternoon. I know afternoon. I always record in the morning, not afternoons. It's been a busy old day. I have um, I have been writing scripts all day, all day as well. Uh, we want to not be here. Where are we again? We are Margan, aren't we? And we want to get back to Balmora. I assume Aldrune is not a bad position to bad way to go. We've got the money to spend, so 12, 12 gold pieces is no no skin off my back. Skin off my back? Skin off my teeth. And I wonder if this guy will then take us to where we'll need to go. Balmora. Yeah, I've actually, like, we could have got there in, like, two trips, couldn't we? We, we walk places first. That's the way we do it. Um, yeah, I've been writing, writing, writing. I, I looked at it afterwards and uh, realised I've been writing, writing? Wrote about uh, 5,000 words. Or not far off, so... Whether any of them are any good or not, we'll find out. But um, I'm quite happy. I, I think it's probably the first time Welcome since friend. maybe like college. So the probably the first time in the last 10 years or so that I've uh, done that much writing in one setting. Uh, we actually needed to talk to this person, wasn't it? I can't remember the name now. Rannis. Necromancy. Did you kill the necromancer? Yes. She is truly dead. You have done me, the guild that is, a great service. These scrolls should help you deal with any other necromancers you find. Thank you. Advancement? I don't have the requirements. Yeah, so I need to actually level up my skills. Okay, goodbye. Right then, um, that's a good point, I think, to leave uh, this guild behind and start moving on to bigger and better things. We'll come back here once we can get that uh, advancement done. Oh. Oh yes, divine intervention, definitely. Oh, all the disease curing stuff. If only I'd looked in here, which I definitely have done. But if only I looked in here earlier and took those earlier, that would have helped me a lot. But as I said, I think in the video I was ed editing it earlier. I think I said, yeah, that was mostly my fault. So thieves guild, I think it is. I think we do the thieves guild until we can't progress that any further. And then we come back around to the main quest. Um, but yeah, next three. Uh, Dishonored 2 scripts all wrote in a day. Uh, I've got to go back and edit them and then perform them and then ed edit the videos and all that. So there's still quite a bit more work to do, but uh, it's enough for today. I think I started did the, started the first one about 8 o'clock this morning and it's now nearly 3 o'clock. So. Um, right, there's a way of doing this. Yes, here, here. Uh, to the Thieves Guild. And hello, Awad. To the maps. Um, Awad. Images. Where are we? So in hindsight, that was relatively close to where we've been, is it? No, that's not. Give me the map. It's like here. Hmm. Yeah, I think. In fact, I think it's really near to the Odai Plateau. I can't remember what's in that direction at all. I mean, it's not been long since we've been there. Uh, let's see if the Silt Strider can take us anywhere. But no, I'm like it's weird coming out of writing because I'm like relearning it in a lot of ways. Um, because if you don't do something regularly, uh, you 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 lose those skills somewhat. Um, so relearning, doing some writing. No, relearning, doing some writing has been a, a interesting. Um, interesting set of problems and especially writing for scripts because it is just a different way of writing as well uh, oh so it's the one down the river if we follow the river we should get there yeah because that's this river here oh we've done a level uh, being smart doesn't hurt and a little look now and then is nice but the key patience and hard work and when it pays off it's sweet um, endurance we do endurance every time until it's done uh, agility and intelligence. I think sounds okay for me. And no, I didn't just take a photo. We do that. Just so I show it all off again. I know it's it's uh, it's admin nowadays, isn't it? But I think it's worth having on. Uh, 
We are like nearly leveled up in a couple of things, which is really good going. Um, I think it's why the game's not been particularly difficult at this stage, but I'm not here for difficulty. I'm here for the world and the exploration and the, the questy quests. Um, cool, that's that done. So we are coming up into newish ter new territory here. I think we have been, we've just about been here, but uh, we're not far off from our target location. So this is pretty up here. I don't remember actually coming all the way to the top of this hill. So didn't we come down here for mushrooms? Wasn't that it? Something like that. Let's see what's down this other side. I do like this area. This area is probably the most pleasant sort of place to be in uh, compared to like the Ashlands. They are just like downright hostile. To be fair, like El uh, um, Bethesda um, actually have quite a hand in hostile territories with the whole Fallout thing as well. I know this is way before then uh, this game came out, but I, I find that kind of interesting that they went from these sort of worlds and this sort of type of build up to go and like, you can actually see some of these type of things. I think it's the uh, DLC for, um, Fallout 3 has got the swampy area, which, you know, there's some swamps here. I'm gonna see what this sign says. This is all, all new. Is this the town we want? Yes. Uh, Eldrun, Namark, Caldera, Balmora, Sedanine, and then our town. God, don't, I'm not here for anything bad, trust me. So, who are we looking for then? Uh, Resid, uh, Fat Legs Drop Off. Fat Legs Drop Off, is that like a pl name of a place? Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Um. Okay. Is this going to be one of those of just save and hope for the best? doesn't matter how skilled I am. Having just played a lot of Dishonored, it's interesting to go to a system that's purely um, dice rolls to how well you do stealth. Or it seems to be purely dice rolls anyway. Um, you want something? No. Whereas, like, Dishonored is definitely more of a skill thing. I mean, let's just look. Uh, has he got? Has he got it on him? I, I think you can look in things with impunity. Like you're not going to oh, be caught out for just looking in these. Yeah, I bet it's in there. Or um, because it, you may be in for an unpleasant surprise. So services ask around like everyone else. Barter. Oh, this is thieves' guild. Isn't it? Oh. What? I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. It's just a little vi fishing village on the bitter coast. A rough track along the river Odai connects Halad with the town of Balmora across the hills to the northeast, and you can get a ship to Narmok or Ebenhart. Otherwise, it's a very long and pleasant walk along the south coast of Sedanine, or as much longer and much more unpleasant walk north to nowhere. Don't ask me if I can read. What's going on down here? Is it Thieves Guild or is it like actual... Uh, doing some business. Between Varera, Hellas and me. I owe him big for a deal we made a while ago. Rubina here ought to pay for my side of the bargain and more. There's a lot of money in some of these slaves. I'll deliver the slave to him. No. I thought you meant deliver this to a slave. Who are these people? It's like, is it just a boat place this? Because if it is, it's cool. But no, that's not like, I thought that was bigger, potentially, like a bigger opening going out somewhere, but it's not. We're not being attacked on site, which is not a bad thing. What's this regarding? Who are you? 
What's your trade? Pawnbroker. Can I buy some things off you? Oh, he has iron arrows. How much do they weigh? Point 0.1. So 10 is 1. So yeah, I've got... Yeah, that's like 20 weight. That's a large amount of my weight. Plus I've just got those 50. Yeah, I don't I don't need any more arrows. It's good to know that he's here though. It's a shame we can't get here quickly. Uh, yeah, we're good. I, I don't have anything I want to sell. How much money have you got? No. Hmm. Do I have artifacts? You can only speak to a friend. Do I have more artifacts? Oh, I keep pressing escape. Uh, oh, we've just really made him not like us. Um... <laughs> Spending a lot of money here. <laughs> I'm just kind of interested in the system itself. He's now my best friend. I don't know how much money I've just spent though. That seemed like a lot of money. And he doesn't know anything about it. I mean, where are we at? Oh, we're, we're okay. Money doesn't seem to matter too much. What does he do? I'll repair stuff. Do I need... I can't eat. It, like, because I tend to record a few of these in bulk. I can't remember what I've uh, exactly done in the last session. So, I think that's normal for Let's Play stuff, though. Like, I've, I've got the uh, fear of work dropping on me at any time as well, if I'm asked to go back. So, I want, like... Um, I want to be able to jump back in and, like, be able to have, like, a bit of breathing room in regards to YouTube stuff if I do get asked to go back. Uh, what is it? the Thieves Guild. Bassi asked me to bring me... Perhaps I just need to talk to her. Perhaps it's not a thievery thing. Oh, I'm confused. Who are you? General Merchant. And you are... Do so you not have a my trade option? Do I have artifacts? What do I have artifacts? What do I have artifacts? I'm spending so much money here today. This is what I call a, sc a scouting kill. Yeah, okay. Of course, we're not going to actually uh, actually run with that. It it's it's a bit cheaty, but you at least we know what we're doing now. I was getting confused, so. Um, I mean, do we just steal it and then pay the fine? Or do we have that potion of invin invisibility still? I do have a spell though, don't I? Chameleon. This just might like aid me. Aid me in doing doing a sneak. I mean I'm still hidden. Yeah, this this is not good. So another thing I want to test, and it doesn't it didn't appear to be true. Um, from what I've seen so far. But I want to see, say, in 12 hours, are they still here? Because this would be like a common thing you'd do. 8pm, so like maybe midnight. This is just not good. Oh, we were sneaking very briefly then. Sweet. Uh, I like this thief skill, but there's some aspects like this which are just bad. So what's the plan then? I mean, I could just steal it in Blur of Daylight and see what happens. I want to do that. You can't escape. 
Let's see what happens. This is kind of messing with systems in not the best way. Say what you want of gold. Um, surrender your stolen goods. Accept that. And then if we go in here... Yeah, they're not here. So that's not the route. Okay. Leave it with me. Got some weird things happening with audio today, so that's always fun to play around with. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, new tactic. This is gamey as hell. But if you're going to put a, like a barrel there with no logical way of um, getting past it, then I'm going to be gamey as hell. I, I, yeah, I did also read this online. You can... Is he going to attack me now? Yay! Um, so yeah, I've just tossed him into attacking me. I know it's in hella gamey, but uh, trying to get in this chest was frustrating me. But yeah, basically, you get to... You get to... Um, get people to attack you for free by taunting them. Um, I, I'll try and avoid doing that, but like... So, for me, that mission design right there that we've just done actually fails in a couple of components. I suppose, like, one... You've got a couple of methods of stealing something in a game. One is to have the in-game mechanical skills do it for you. Um, so that would be sort of having a sneak level that just happened to be high enough. So that is one solution to the problem. The other solution to the problem is um, basically would be for me to... I'm losing my train of thought. Oh my god. It basically, it would be me to think about it intelligently. And so I, I tried that all the way through. You know, you go from... You have a couple of, of like what I would consider in more intelligent options anyway, not necessarily the most intelligent, and that would be um, everything from um, sort of trying to get into a position where you can't be seen, or like doing it at a certain time of day, waiting for there to be no one there. Um, you know, it's almost more of a simulation y thing of. Um, than a gamey thing, it's 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 looking at the world around you and seeing how you can uh, how you can use that to your advantage. Um, whereas what the game was was saying to do is just have a really good sneak skill, which actually I can't be bothered to do. But I know like um, I think it's the Thieves Guild in Oblivion. You can do all of that without ever uh, needing to level up your sneak skill. Um, you will do better with it with a higher sneak skill, but you'll be able to get away with it. And I'm not saying that's necessarily better design. Like, for instance, I don't necessarily think um, you should be able to just do everything in the game. I think it's really cool how this game does give you some limitations and put some things off limit for you. Um, but at the same time, if I can't like do something in a rational, logical way to overcome the thing imp impeding my progress, I just find it annoying, <laughs> so hence taking things into weird gamey territory. The game is asking me weird gamey things, I'm going to do weird gamey things. Home sweet home. Talking about homes actually, I don't know if this game does have houses. Because I know that's like a prominent feature in both um, Oblivion and Skyrim. So like in Oblivion, uh, you can get a house in every city and... Uh, just cost you a certain amount of gold and that's like a real like achievement and I think it actually does a lot for the game in setting you into a place and making you feel like you belong in a place because you're a homeowner now um, and so that works quite well um, but I wonder if you can get them in this game I think if I remember rightly if you do the missions for um, the great houses so like uh, Redoran and uh, Halula Halulu and uh, I can't remember the name of the other one but the great houses um, I can't remember where the hell <laughs> the South Wall Club is it's here isn't it? no, here Lucky Lock Up Council Club is it? this is bad I should be able to remember where my guild is shouldn't I? 
There we go. Okay. Cross the other side that way. Um, yeah, it's about. like it's an important way of. I know you're a sleeper. You keep telling me. Um, it's. Yeah, no, it's just it's cool to have your own home. And so, yeah, I wonder. Oh, yeah, though, I know you can do it for the Great House quest. You can get like big manners, uh, which is cool. That's a really cool idea. But uh, I, I've, I know nothing else about it. I, I know, have no insight to how we actually get to that stage. So, considering we're not even doing those quests at the moment, it could be a little while away. It could be a very long while away knowing these games. Uh, where are you, Sugar Lips? What is it, friend? And where my artifacts? Yes, here they are. Advancements. Needs to do more jobs. Jobs. Raylan Halal Halalo died recently and left a bottle of vintage brandy. The vintage brandy is in Halalo Manor. Bring this brand. Bring this brandy to uh, Herbasi. Um. Does he have anything to say on the manor itself? That wall of Sir Fishing Town. Uh, Raylan Halalo is dead. Cool, let's go have a look. Hello! Hello! So, if we have a look on here, we should be able to find it relatively quickly. Bidda bird bird, Reef Thine's house. It's funny to me how uh, the Thieves Guild is genuinely feeling a lot more honest than uh, the Mage's Guild is. Because um, you typically would think of a Mage's Guild as being a, a relatively honest place. But I wonder if that's... Um, now I forgot his name. Rathis? Rathis? The Mage's Guild leader guy. The guy we're getting our quest from. Um, Maldor armor, armor. So th this is the posh part of town, so I should have started here, really. Morag Tong. There we go, Halalu Manor. My time is precious, so make it quick. No, a lot of people. Oh my I god! I know. Um, I wonder how many like. Um, I wonder how the Thieves Guild goes because I heard a lot of people saying it's one of their favorite guilds and it's got like a lot to it and it's really interesting. But so far, like just diving into people's houses and grabbing more items has got to be one of the more least interesting things. Um, because the stealth system's just not that good. You can sort of forgive it. We it is what it is, but. Uh, Just don't keep me waiting. Council Manor. Oh, there be people here. I assumed when he said he was dead, we'll be, this is going to be an easy one. But I suppose if it was going to be easy, why wouldn't he just do it himself? Let's just go in and see if we can find it. South wall, enchantments. What's this house do? I want to figure out the houses. No, just the same if we want to join. The river Odai. I'm busy, so if you will excuse me. I mean, I will, but uh, if you can tell me where this nice booze is, please. So what's the journal exactly say? Rather than her. So he does not need the brandy. He lives in the northwest side of town up the hill. Does he live here then? Raylan. So he might not live in the actual manor. This might be their gathering place. So northwest. Yeah, it's up here. Yes, I think it might be there actually. Yeah, because it's the council manor. So, if we go. It's one over here. Yeah. 
Hello. Anytime Star gel. Um, <laughs> okay, it's got a lock on it. Which I'm sure we can uh, we can we can work our magic there. That's not gonna be any issue. It's a bit grand to be calling this a manor though, I think. We've got one guard, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. We just need to catch a, a decent moment. Have we got some of these half used? Don't want to keep using a fresh one. Please excuse me, sir. I'm doing nothing here on this uh, doorstep holding this. Pick lock. Lock pick. Honestly. This is what I mean about the stealth not being great in this game. Because it's so driven in a certain way. If you could turn around, please, sir. I need to rob this fine premises. Excuse me. He's doing a move, finally. Now, oh, just as the guy comes back through. Go on. Walk, walk over there. Surely that's... Surely we're in stealth now. Who can see us? I have an idea. It's not worked so far. Oh, come on. I don't think anyone saw me. Oh. How did this man die? And can I rob everything else? He doesn't need it after all, as Sugar Lips said. Uh, ooh, fancy stuff. Just give me all your fancy stuff. Now where's your fancy booze? There it is. I like the way he has so much cheap stuff and then has the one bottle of fancy stuff in prime position. I think if he was truly a rich boy, you would, um, he'd have a lot more. I'm over encumbered already. By 10. How much do those bottles weigh? I mean, they were large, but five. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not worth it. Put it on the shelf there. Go through your crates. Seems like some eggs. That's where I keep all my eggs. In the crate downstairs. Keeps them safe. I th I'd say for a wealthy person, he's, he's disappointingly not got enough stuff to rob. Oh, what? Oh no. I've locked myself on his balcony. This, this is where, um, due to like weird stealth mechanics, I actually, uh, I actually can get spotted from up here. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, right. Expensive, expensive, expensive. Oh, more vintage brandy, defo. Nitly. Okay, I think that's everything we can get from this house and we are coming up to time. So that is going to be it for today. We're going to continue on with the Thieves Guild as much as we can and then I think circle back around to the main quest is uh, is potentially the plan. Hopefully I don't get called a robber for just exiting this house that's an, of a known dead man. But yeah, that's going to be all. I will be back tomorrow. Um, what day is this coming out? I think this is Friday. So tomorrow is going to be a Dishonored video. No, it's not. It's actually a break video. It's a really good one actually, I think. It's uh, talking about knowledge as a progression meter in games. Anyway, look out for that. And if not, it'll be Morrowind Daily.
apart from Saturdays where we talk about other games. My name's been Billy, thank you for watching, and goodbye.